Hungary has always or traditionally had quite a fractious relationship with others in the EU. Right. So how important is this securing for China's ambitions in the well, region? Absolutely. It comes at a time of rising uh, trade friction, if you will, with Brussels. Uh, Ursula von der Leyen, the EC president, has been very outspoken against Chinese overcapacity issues and the potential uh, dumping of EVs and other green products in the European market. Uh, and again, there's this investigation into uh, potential dumping and, and subsidies by the Chinese government and, and the like. And there could be, and, and the Chinese EV makers that I've talked to say they fully expect some sort of tariff regime on EVs. Now, Xi Jinping obviously sees a great opportunity with a country like Hungary, which already has a EV battery supply chain. The, the, the South Koreans are in there. Mm -hmm. The Chinese are in there, CATL. They're building this supply chain into southern Europe, uh, excuse me, southern Germany, where there's automobile factories uh, in Slovakia as well. Look, Hungary has cheaper labor. They have a 9% corporate tax rate. Uh, they are friendly to Chinese investment, extremely friendly. Viktor Orban, the prime minister, uh, basically in lockstep with the Chinese development model, using lower wages in, in his country, uh, wide open land to build these factories, and they are courting that. And that's why Xi Jinping is wrapping up his European trip the first time in five years in two friendly countries to China. That is uh, uh, Slo um, Ser Serbia. Serbia, thank you. And then also now um, Hungary. So it, it, look at the, I'm just going to bring up the statements uh, from Xi Jinping. He says, we will strengthen cooperation in our development strategies, deepening ties in trade, finance, and our economies. He also wrote, by the way, in a ruling party Hungarian newspaper, on the path of Chinese-style modernization and development, we see Hungary as a traveling companion. Now, I want to change the page because we didn't get the actual readout from the Hungarian government of Viktor Orban's statements, but this is from the Chinese readout of his meeting with Xi. It reads like it was written by Beijing, okay? Hungary does not identify with the rhetoric of so-called overcapacity or de-risking. Hungary's determination to deepen cooperation with China is unswerving and will not be interfered by any force. They really do, Beijing does need to get a new English thesaurus because unswerving is definitely a word that the Beijing authorities <laughs> use quite a bit. So I'm not so sure that Viktor Orban used that word, but again, we have to attribute it to the Chinese readout of Viktor Orban's comments towards Xi Jinping. Uh, it's sort of Chinese diplomatic speak bingo, right? Such a fun game. <laughs> um, which companies do you uh, pose to benefit the most here? Obviously, in Xi Jinping's new three, the big, uh, you know, green story, if you will, the electric vehicles, as well as batteries, solar and the like. Uh, already we're seeing Viktor Orban's government trying to create uh, the infrastructure for uh, the EV industry in the European bloc, uh, the EU trading bloc. Uh, by courting the likes of BYD. They're building a massive plant in uh, Hungary. Also, we're expecting some sort of uh, announcement with Great Wall Motor. We got a statement yesterday saying that NEO has been in talks uh, as well with the Hungarian government. CATL has their facilities and building out even further in eastern Hungary. But also the South Korean big battery makers have already been in Hungary. They're supplying, again, as I said, to the German automakers in Bavaria and southern uh, Germany also uh, in Slovakia, I believe it is. So again, in the new three that Xi Jinping has been pushing for technology, green technology are going to benefit. And Viktor Orban is in lockstep with Xi Jinping on that development model.